One of the best ways to get creative is to use AI. Let's take a look at how Adobe Firefly is helping creators learn new things every day and see success with AI in creativity. One of the things that we first see is that Adobe Firefly is free. So you can hop on to adobe.com and use Adobe Firefly for all your creative activities. And that really makes it very user friendly. You can go in and you can use text to image, generative fill, generative expand. They really have a lot of different services that you can use for free. However, if you do have the Adobe suite, you can use it and expand on those services in the creative cloud. So there really are a lot of applicable apps for you and resources that you can use. And you can see those within Lightroom, Photoshop, and Adobe Express that really go beyond the free resources that are available. But for today, we're just gonna hop on to Adobe Firefly and see what are things that we can do to be creative within Adobe Firefly. And one of the things that I really like to do is just do the text to image. While there are different things that you can do, as you can see in here, you can do the generative fill. I use that too a lot. Sometimes um, I'll get a picture of Krista and half her shoulders missing and I just need to fill that in. It really does a good job of filling that in for me and making it pretty usable. Um, but you can also do things like removing a background. Uh, there are different things that you can do that are great for creators and editors that are quickly uh, accessible for you to use and again free. So let's take a look at this text to image. One of the key takeaways that I want you to get from this today is to look at this as a way to see to spark creativity. So when you're looking on here you're going to be able to see what other creators are doing and you're going to be able to see what their prompts are. Remember your prompts need to be specific. If they're not specific, then you're not gonna get the results that you want. When you see the other prompts that people are using, they're giving a lot of specificity, and that's why they're getting the results that they want. If you're not giving good prompts, you're not gonna get good results. So remember, when you're putting your prompts in, that's the result that you're gonna get. So remember, when you're doing your prompting, you need to make sure that you're giving specificity. And especially when you're using humans as a focal point in your prompts. Let's look at look at this picture here with a person in it. And the prompt here says, a sad man playing the piano in dramatic tone during the war, wide angle camera. It follows all the guidelines of having tone, specificity, formatting, and it's giving the prompt exactly what it needs to come out with the result that it wants. So you wanna make sure that that's what you're doing when you're giving your prompts. And that's how you're getting the results. So anytime you see one of these pictures and you're like, wow, they did a great job, it's because they were very specific in their prompt. So let's give it a prompt and see what it does, right? Business people in vivid color sitting at a conference table in 16 by nine format, high angle, close view. Let's see what happens. All right, so here's our examples that we have. And you'll see they're not too terrible. Now, if we zoom in on this though, you can see, let's take a closer look. They're not the greatest when we take a closer look because we have some problems with our hands. Nobody has 12 fingers. Um, and some of their faces are a little off, but it's not too terrible. With some cleaning up, it could be usable. But again, that's the problem with AI. AI is not perfect. And what it gives you is a starting point. It gives you something that you can potentially use to start you off. Um, again, look at those fingers. Oh, so silly. Um, but what you can do is you can go from there, and this is what I do like about Adobe Firefly is it gives you options to either change, you can make suggestions in your prompts, say, okay, well maybe that's not what I wanted. Maybe I wanted to change the angle. Maybe I wanted to change, you know, I want the backs of people so I don't have to mess with the fingers. You can make that change in your prompt and ask it again. So maybe I wanna make it art. So this is something you can do. You just hit generate and all of a sudden it will go and change it to art. And when you do that, there you go. So now you have an art, and this kind of takes away some of those issues that you might have with the fingers and the faces, and it makes it more simplistic. 
other things that you can do is you can actually give it a reference. So say you have branding guidelines or you have people you want to put in the photos. You can actually give that as a reference to the AI and it'll help build that photo for you. Um, you can change it. So say you want to make it uh, more simplistic or you want to give it a reference for uh, like an art gallery type thing. You can do it like that and say, all right, now generate it like this. And that's the type of photo it's going to give you. So every time you change something with the prompt, with the guidelines, it's going to generate new context for you and change that image. And that's what makes Firefly so helpful in the creative process. It's helping you by changing and giving you new ideas. And this is what makes the creative process so much more effective. I mean, let's think about it. You can get this job done so much more faster and more effectively by using these tools. And Adobe Firefly is one of many tools out there. There's also Mid Journey, Dolly, and so many others. And more and more are coming out in the market now. But don't be hesitant to try. That's the biggest thing. Try, try, try. Use them and be creative, be more productive, but don't forget to, to be ethical and responsible in your use. When you're using AI tools, be sure to be transparent about your usage. When you're making these creative assets, you need to be aware that what you're doing is showcasing your work and that work, you don't own it. You don't own the copyright to it. So be aware of your usage and try it out. Get creative and I'm excited to see what you're putting out there. So go and make some wonderful things with Adobe Firefly or some of the other tools out there. Get to work.